Hello everybody, welcome back to some more what? Welcome to my let's play of Mario Party 2. This time in Super 64 and M Classic graphics, which looks really nice and clean compared to the composite to HDMI conversion. Wow, that was not a pretty picture, but I did that let's play a couple years ago doing the party boards playthrough. But I think this time I'm going to be doing a full let's play of this game. So I'm going to do all these boards. I'm going to unlock the final board and play that as well. And we're also going to go to minigame land. How about we go to pirate land. Become pirates and scour a tropical island in search of treasure. Yes, we're going to be doing these boards in no particular order. But we're, we're gonna do Pirate Land first, because why not, right? It's a nice board to start off with. Toad is wearing a boat as a costume, really. <sighs> okay, one player? I always start with Luigi, number one. But I guess this time I'm gonna start with Yoshi. And then we're going to bring Luigi, Peach, and Badass. All the same for difficulty, hard. 20 turns, light play. And yes, for the bonus, because not only do we want the bonus stars, but we also, we also get hidden blocks. And they work differently in this game. And also, we dress up for the occasion on every board, so now... Well, first, rest in peace, Cooper. But, we do dress up as pirates for this board, so that's nice. I believe the only Mario Party to dress up for the boards. We don't dress up in any other Mario Party game, so that's, in that's interesting. We're here everyone, this is Pirate Land. This is a tropical isle. Pirates are scouring the island in search of the secret treasure. You too shall become pirates and scour the island for booty. Your objective this time is a barrel with Bowser's face on it. Is to defeat Captain Bowser, your nemesis, and find the treasure. Find the secret treasure to become the superstar of Pirate Land. Okay, now we have to determine the turn order. I'm gonna go first. Okay, cool. Turn order has been decided. Yoshi is first. Oh yeah. Okay. Instead of Yeha by Luigi, he goes Yahoo! Oh, whatever. Little different voice clips in each Mario Party game, apparently. Okay, the toad is down there on the bottom left island, but this time we don't just have the star, we also have Baby Freaking Bowser. By the way, Baby Bowser is over here. He may take coins from you, so beware. Yep, Bowser, Baby Bowser works in this game as a dick who steals five coins from you every time you pass him. Although, maybe occasionally he does flip up and gives you coins, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. As a special bonus, you get all the coins currently in our reserves. Unfortunately, we don't have a single coin. That's too bad. Oh my god. Two! You get a red space. Why? Also, because since the icon up there is highlighted green with, with Yoshi, it could go either way, blue or red. So we probably could start the game with the 2 versus 2, which we do. Okay, not really one I wanted to start with, but we're going to start with speed hockey. Hockey that contains speed, because why not? Knock the shell into your opponent's goal. The first team to score three goals wins. 
move up and down, because that's what we do in this game, nothing else. The more you hit it, the faster the cell moves. Make sure you don't score on yourself, otherwise you will suck. I'm the goalie! No, no, no. Oh crap, no, 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 no. Really? Wario, well, you scored on our side. You idiot. You are in... Oh, come on! No fair. Oh, boy. No! Wario, well, you're, you're never on my team anymore. Go away. Wow. That's a load of crap right there. Also, before I continue on, we're going to yeah, view the explanation screen. We're going to go fast for the message speed and save after every turn, just in case something happens. And yep, we land on Bowser because, well, that guy needs to mess up our lives. Doom, 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 doom. Well, 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 you'll see. Welcome to Bowser's Space. I recommend you try one of my frightening events. I hope you enjoy it. Step right up and let the roulette choose your fate. 10,000 coins! Frightening. Oh, okay. Wimp! Bowser ran! Well, pfft. What a dick. You owe me 10,000 coins, you stupid. I expect that by the end of the match. So that way I can get the coin star, no questions asked. Yeah, unfortunately the... Yellow text with Bowser's roulette will not do anything, even though it would make the game more interesting if that happened, but... I guess that would be too much of a thing too good to be true in this game, so unfortunately you can't have any of that. There is another yellow text, I think maybe two more, but we'll see it when we get that. Okay, ball over and me as the bowler. Ooh, why does Peach have a tiny head? compared to Luigi, and wow, Wario has got a big ass, okay, head, what? Go bowling with a creeper shell. You win if you knock down all your bowling pin rivals. You get a, you get to bowl with two cells, really. So, in the original game, we only bowl with one cell, in this one, we get two, awesome. Move left or right to spin the cell with the, you know what, and A to throw it. And they can only move and jump. Bowling pin players should watch where the cell is spinning to, then try to get out of the way. So in this one, it's different with how you win compared to the original game. Cause in the original game, whoever you knock down, you'll get coins out of them. In this one, you have to hit all three characters if you want to win the game. So. Yeah, they do change it up in this one. So if you don't get all three player characters within two shots, then you're not going to win any coins other than the normal pins that you hit. So. If you get two of the three and the game ends, you still lose. So. The normal pins there, the normal white pins, they don't matter. They're, ju they're just extra single coins if you want them, but yeah. <laughs> Five again? Oh my god. I'm gonna land on a you-know-what. Buy an item. How about... Yeah, I'll go with the mushroom. Why not? Woo! Happen in space, number one goes to me. And I got hit in the face, and got sent back to start. So the item, how they work in this game, is... In the original game, you buy the particular items, 
in the mushroom shop in mushroom village and then they show up in the star bank and then you can either activate them turn them on or off and they will show up randomly in the game that you're playing in this game however you get to buy an item to use on the board but you only have space for one item you can't hold multiple items until the third Mario Party game when you can hold three. So, but in that case, when you get to buy an item or win an item in an item mini game, you get to use it whenever you want. So, right now we have a battle game. Let's get it started. The entrance speed this time is 10 coins per player. Why? Why are you going to have any coins? That's because Bowser stole them. Wow. So we got a 30 coin battle instead of 40. Uh, Alright, Crazy Cutters does make a return in this game. But instead of a regular 4 player minigame, wow, Peach is going crazy. But instead of a regular 4 player minigame, when you get 80 points, you win coins. In this game, it's a battle game. And whoever gets, the, whoever gets the most points would win. Use your jackhammer to cut around the fossilized figures. The cleanest crazy cutter wins. And rolling move. The whole point is to cut as closely to the line as possible. Cut carefully. Right. And we have different pictures like we do in the original game. Right now we have a chain chomp. It's pretty nice how clean the game looks now with the Super 64 and M Classic. In regular composite quality, it doesn't really look this clean. How is that? 100%? I even messed up on that. On On that bottom right corner, I messed up a bit there. That should be like a 96, 97 at most. But wow, the game was generous. It gave me 100. Damn. <laughs> All right, cool. I got 21 coins and she got nine coins. I want to get the calculator out and calculate the percentages there. But I think it's... 75 and 25, maybe, for the first and second place for battle mini games. I'm not sure. Maybe 70 30. I'm gonna find out after we do a mini game here and my turn. Teammates must cooperate to cut the raw log. Why? What did the log ever do to us? If you if you both if you both pull at the same time, the saw won't budge. Push and pull the saw with A and B. The further you push or pull the saw, the more efficient your cut is. So if you just go push and pull fast, quickly, then you're not really gonna have efficient cutting. You have to get into a pretty nice rhythm to do this, so. Lily Lumberjacks, here we go. A, B, A, B. For the efficient cutting here. There we go. I messed up a few times by going just a bit fast there, but we did get it. And in this game, the losing team does not lose any coins, so we don't have to deal with losing coins as much in this game compared to the first game. But Unfortunately, in this game, compared to Mario Party 1, we don't have the ability to play one-player minigames anymore, so that's unfortunate. That's been replaced with something else that I'll talk about later. But you probably saw it as we passed. It's a one-player item minigame. 
Star, that's basically the replacement for one third minigames. It's item minigames, and I'll talk about it when we land on it. When we land on it, so. But it's that space that Peach just passed. The chest space. That space, right beside a dock, you're forced to ride the silk to another dock. So you don't have a chance to say no, you have to go to another dock, so that's unfortunate. But it's nice for me because Peach goes away from the star. Although on the other hand, she doesn't have enough for a star anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Although it probably would if she didn't have to pay anything and she wins this next minigame. Which she probably could hear in the Lavatile Owl. Battle your opponents atop the Grindle Tiles to knock them off the floating aisles. Last one standing wins. Move and jump with A, B to attack, A and B and hip drop. You don't really want to do that move because you could hip drop into the lava and that's not good. When the Grindles wobble, they're about to move so move yourself to safety. Yes, sir. We can see the smiles a lot clearer now. Luigi jumped on my head because he sucks. Get you, you stupid mother fucking piece of fat ass. Because of that, I want you to lose. Nope. What a dick. Who is in the lead for the minigame star again? I won the first minigame, right? It was a two versus two. And we did... What's the minigame that we did on the first turn? I already forgot what it was. Wow. I'm supposed to have a good memory. Eight! Three! Eleven. Oh boy. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, I don't land on a happening space. But I'm probably gonna take another mushroom just because. Even though I probably should not do that because. Oh. Hello. We found a hidden block. So they do work differently in this one compared to Mario Party 1. In Mario Party 1. Three things would happen with a with a hidden block. You will you will either get Bowser, Boo, or Koopa. So three different events. But in this game, and three and uh, maybe four as well. What happens in a hidden block? You get one of two things: twenty coins or a star. And I got. 20 coins, so I got refunded for the mushroom, but I do get more coins as well, so I'm in the lead for the coin star right now, so that's good. Eight, really? Go up! Oh, you suck! You were supposed to go up, dude. But no, he's wanting to go down, down, down to the... To the bridge! Going to the star, why? Nobody should be getting that star but me. Luigi bought a skeleton key, so he's probably going to use it. Yep, he's using it there, and he's, ah, he's actually going that way. But there's something down here that we have to look out for. Do you see that? There's a boo right there. So, yep, boo makes a return, and unfortunately, it's not going to be as fun as it is in the original game. So, I'll talk about that when he activates it. Honeycomb Havoc. Hit the block, then take as many fruits as the number shown, one or two. Avoid the honeycomb to be the last one left. If you get a honeycomb, you're eliminated, basically. A to jump, that's all we can do. Count the fruits to avoid the bees. Quick calculation will keep you from trouble. Tru bleh, will keep you from trouble. 
from trouble. My jaw muscles aren't really strong, so I have little trouble with pronunciations sometimes. Okay, so I'm gonna get two, so I get a coin. You better not. Okay, Peach, get a two. Thank you. She could have screwed me over, but nope. If she had gotten a one, I would have lost, but thankfully that didn't happen. Also, two. One. One. Okay, so if I get a two, then they would screw me over. Although, if I get a one and they both get two, then I lose. So, the, I kind of put, put myself in a little bit of a predicament here. So, hopefully, they don't get two each. Get one. One. Peach, get a one. You stupid bitch. That's right, I called you that. That's what you are. How dare you screw me over and not Wario. Wario's the one leading the minigames, I think. For the coins, I don't know. I won a couple of them, but I think Wario's gonna lead. I did. Wow, Peach is smart right there. She wins no matter what. Unless she gets your... Nope, okay. She's not that dumb to get a one. Uh, better Peach than Wario, I guess. Even though I would have preferred to win that minigame, but... Nope. We had to do the stupid... Oh, uh, well. Okay. I got a mushroom. I'm probably gonna have to use it because otherwise I might land on a happening space. And while that's not going to be the worst thing in the world, I do need to get to the star. Not with a seven, though. Welcome, welcome. For the minimum one coin toll, you may pass through here. No. You want pass? Okay, bye. Oh, ooh. I do have to be forced to ride the suck to the other dock, but... Whoa, 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 what's up, what's up? What's the rush? If you're so rough, hop on my back for a ride for five points. Okay, hop on, hop on, hang on, hang on, what? Okay, we do have to ride the sub, but we do get close to the star here, so that's nice. Wario is not gonna make it in time, so there we go. Okay, one, one, one. Luigi, are you gonna get a one? No, why? You suck. Also, you need to pay five coins in order to steal coins from other people. Yoshi, beware. Boo has come to steal your coins. Press the A button repeatedly to pull Boo away. Unfortunately, it's gonna be 20 coins. Yeah, stupid. In order to steal a star, you have to pay 50 coins, like in the previous game, so that's the same. Except this time you have to pay 5 coins to steal coins, not free. So, yeah. But you do steal more coins consistently in this one, so that's why you, you pay to steal. So, yeah. It's a 3 on 1 penguin race. To be, be the first to throw the fist to your friends at the finish. Left or right to move, A repeatedly to run, why, why, why? If you waddle too fast, you might fall down. whoop de doo When you start to slide, it's time to slow down. Why? Filet relay. Oh. And I'm going last. Oh my god. Come on, fat ass, fall down. Luigi, will you move? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're on my team. <laughs> Woohoo! There we go. Wow. 
I forgot while we were on my team, I was... <sighs> Boy. Yeah, well, we won, that's all that matters. Luigi was kind of going slow there, so... And also, Pierce got in his, his way right there as well, so... What?! What?! How is that fair? The game screwed me over by giving me a one instead of a three. Thankfully, I'm gonna get that one, but come on, Toad. Be nice, you stupid boat wearing mother. Wow. Also, here's an item in the game. Roll out the barrels. They're rolling out the barrels. All you have to do is break one with the one with the item that you want. Yeah. So there's six item minigames total in this game. One per board. One unique item minigame per board. So for this one, you have to watch the item in the barrel that you want to have. Then you smash the barrel and Plunder chest. <laughs> you monkey. The plunder chest allows you to steal an item from someone. In this game, in Mario Party 2, you don't get to pick who you steal an item from, it's random. But in Mario Party 3, you do get to pick. So, alright. Another battle game, this time with all 40 coins. And what's it gonna be this time? Face flip also makes a return to Mario Party 2 in the form of a battle minigame. And this time, instead of Bowser's face, which was the only face in the previous game, right now we have in this game all the character faces. So, Wario, Peach, DK, etc. So, right now it looks like we're doing Wario's face because he's a fucking white ass mug. Fix that nose, raise those cheeks, tug and pull your face to match the example. The closest person wins. Move hand, grab and reset face. Watch the hand to see what you can grab. When it quits blinking, you can press the A button to grab. Okay. Alright. Throw the mustaches, go all the way out. Go. The ears go up a bit. There we go. The nose goes up. The mouth goes down. Okay, I think the ears out more. Okay, I think I screwed that up. Yep. 97 though, that's nice. Okay, yeah, I did say I was going to calculate. So, 28 divided by 40 is 0.7, so 70, 30. So that is the that is the percentage of first and second place. What happened to the music? Yeah. Oh, I somehow hit my headphones and turned down the volume to almost non-existent. <laughs> okay, Sai Guy says the Sai Guy will raise a flag, so just raise the same color flag. It's simple, right? The game continues until only one remains. Yep, this is another minigame that comes back. But this time we're in the clouds instead of on the water. So, yeah, not really as safe as the first one. Raise white flag with A, red flag with B. The fly side guy will try to pick you out. Don't let him fool you. If you let him down, he'll shoot you down. Wow. 
he's gonna murder you if you get it wrong. You better not get it wrong. Nah, he's not gonna shoot you. He's gonna shoot the balloon and then the character will fall down to their doom. So, in this one... The Lakitu is flying across the top of the... You stupid... Wow. So, the speed of you having to raise the flag will depend on the Lakitu going across the... Did we just draw? Cool. Also, Saga is your stupid. <laughs>